What's up YouTube? So today we're gonna to talk about the three ways to learn how to code in 2019. So if you've been struggling on your coding journey, shoot a comment down below and let me know what your biggest challenge has been. Maybe I can help out. And as always, if this provides value, feel free to like and subscribe and make sure to watch until the end to see all three ways to learn how to code. So the first major way is to go the traditional route and get an undergraduate degree. Now, there are a handful of different degrees you can get, whether it's computer science, robotics, or electrical and computer engineering, but I think the most straightforward way is getting that computer science degree. One of the pros of getting that computer science degree is that you'll have a large network of students also going into your career field that you can keep in touch with throughout your whole career. Another pro is that you'll be able to go to career fairs, which large companies come in and they'll probably have many more internship spots open compared if you went to one of the other few routes that I'm gonna talk about next. Now, one of the cons of going to get one of these degrees is the huge time investment that you'll have to spend going forward, as well as the money investment. So overall, you'll have to spend on average four years of your life which is four years taken away that you could be having a job earning money. And then also the money investment, which some colleges you have to spend up to $250,000 to go to, which means you'll probably have to take out a loan and then you'll be paying that off for at least five to 10 years, if not more throughout your life. Now, the next avenue that you can go is you can go to a coding bootcamp. Now, these coding boot camps are great. Some of the pros are that the cohort is very small. It's around 30 people on average, which is great for learning. Smaller environments are usually better. Now, another thing is that they're teaching up to date, industry specific and also um, in demand skills. So they can iterate much faster than an, a traditional institution can. And they will they will be teaching things that are actually relevant today. Now, the third major pro is that they're providing an environment or a structure for you to learn as efficiently and quickly as possible. Now, some of the cons of going to a coding bootcamp is that there is a large upfront cost. Usually you'll have to spend between 15 and $30,000 to go to one of these. And now in 2019, less of them are allowing you to pay later once you get a job. So you'll either have to pay out of pocket or you'll have to get a loan to cover both your living expenses and the coding bootcamp cost. Another major con, which some people might think of a major con, is that they aren't certified. So at the end of your coding bootcamp, you probably will get some kind of certificate saying that you did finish it, but it's not something official like a diploma. And the third drawback is that you'll have to drop everything for three months if you want to go the fully efficient route of learning how to code. Now, some coding boot camps do have part-time remote positions, which will allow you to work while you're studying. But the thing is now you're spending nine months of your life splitting between both a job and learning how to code, which can be really, really mentally tough. Now, the third major route is being self-taught. The few pros of being self-taught are that it's mostly free and if not really low cost. So there are tons of free resources on the internet. Some I'll drop down in the description below that you can use to learn how to code and learn up-to-date skills in 2019. Another huge benefit of being self-taught is that this is a skill you're going to need to pick up in the future anyway. So this career path is really for people who are eventually going to be 100% self-taught. Once you're in the industry, you need to learn all these different things that weren't taught in your traditional education if you have one. And that means you're going to have to self-teach eventually. So why not pick this skill up as soon as possible? Now, the few cons are that there's really no structure or pressure when you're self-teaching. It's a lot harder to apply this pressure to yourself, which means that you're missing out on having some external pressure being applied to you, such as a college or a coding bootcamp curriculum. Now, the next con is that this is potentially the longest way of getting a full-time job. Now, it's not necessarily the longest, but for most people, it probably will be because you really don't know what you don't know. Colleges and coding boot camps will at least have line item skills that you need to learn um, that are usually relatively industry specific. And when you're self-teaching, you're really out in the open and you need to figure all this stuff out on your own. Now, the last and possibly biggest challenge with being self-taught is confidence. Now, confidence can be an issue in any of the avenues you go, but when you're self-taught, you are completely alone unless you found some kind of community. And if you don't have a community, it can be really, really hard, especially when imposter syndrome starts to creep in and you have nobody to talk to about this. Now, at the end of the day, whichever path you choose really depends on your situation, whether it's your stage in life or your financial situation. If you're a younger person, you probably have a little bit more flexibility 
you can, you know, go to college or you can go to a coding boot camp or you can self teach or you can do a mix of different things. You can go to college first, then you can go to coding boot camp after. You can just go straight to coding boot camp or you can self teach and blend that in however you'd like. If you're a little bit older and already in your career, I would recommend just skipping college. You really don't need a college degree to get into this, especially if you've already built credibility in a different area. Now, if you go into coding when you're older, you can just go straight into the coding bootcamp or do the self-taught route. The coding bootcamp is probably the most straightforward way. And if you look at a return on investment versus time, I would say the coding bootcamp is the most efficient way to go about it. Now, that's not to say that self-taught is bad. I think self-taught is great. If you can figure out what you're doing, and in the future, I'll make a few videos about the exact things you need to learn to get your first development job, self-taught is probably the best route if you can figure it out how to do it efficiently. Overall, self-teaching is something you're going to need to keep in your back pocket for the rest of your life if you do go down this career path. So ultimately, it's worth it. Now again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you think this provided value, and drop a comment below on your biggest challenge of learning how to code. Also, make sure to check out my last video, How to Get an Internship in 2019. See you next time.